Today I am at the oldest soul food restaurant here in the city of Atlanta. It is called The Busy Bee. This is part two of this series because the last time I went over to Pascal's, also the oldest soul food restaurant, they both opened in 1947. However, technically the Busy Bee, they said open first, but I'm here to see if it's better than Pascal's. So I'm gonna go grab my food and I'm gonna see if it's truly living up to that Busy Bee name that everybody speaks so highly about. Let's go. I just picked up my food. Let's take a look at it. So I went with the four veggie plate just so I can keep it even with Pascal's. And I got them yams, aka sweet potatoes. I got the collard greens with no meat in them jokers. Then I got that broccoli rice casserole along with, of course, the mac and cheese. And then it comes with your choice of a cornbread roll or a yeast roll. I went with the cornbread muffin. Now, I'm gonna tell you right off the rip. It's about to go down. Busy B, y'all tripping on these prices. How much that shit cost? So for the four veggie plate at Pascal's, I paid $16. Damn. Here at Busy Bee for four vegetables, I paid $18, $19.60 with tax. You done lost your damn mind. That is out of damn control. A veggie plate should never cost $18 for four. And here's the thing. Y'all notice I didn't get any type of dessert or anything. I wanted to try the banana pudding because I heard it was good. Their banana pudding, 12 freaking dollars. 12 dollars for a side of you i your boy you, you yeah you out your mind ain't no way in bloody hell that i'm paying 12 dollars for a side of banana pudding i can make a whole thing of banana pudding for seven bucks but i'm gonna pay 12 for a side of it she i know it's the name they just got a michelin award we're gonna see if the flavor makes up for that cost so it's time to go ahead and go in i'm gonna try this cornbread muffin because what was i what, what, what did i go to before where the cornbread muffin was dry as hell. It was one of them spots. Let's try this one. That was a proper cornbread muffin. This one is that down home cornbread, that one, ain't no sugar in there, cornmeal, flour. That, that says, I'm almost like making a whole cake. I like that, that's a good corn muffin, but y'all know it's not what I'm here for. You know what I'm here for. Let's hop into these sides. Look, I'm a side guy anyway, first and foremost. I'm gonna try these collard greens. These collard greens better be tender and seasoned. Got a nice little folk full. I said it folk, folk full of collard green, let go. Hmm. Hold up, I gotta adjust myself for this. These mofos are good. Hold up, swole up, wait a minute. Hey, these are good as hell. They smoky, they season extremely well. These some damn good collard greens. Suck it, ducky, quack, quack. I don't mind the out, get the hell away from me, fly. Shoe fly, don't bother me. All right. Well, f you. Now we got this broccoli rice casserole. My boy Brandon loves some broccoli rice casserole. Hey, I'm gonna taste this and I'm gonna let you know if you should try this, B. All right. It's cool. So it's good. It's nothing to go crazy over. Like them greens, I can go crazy over them. It's got the broccoli, it's got the cheese, it's got the right, it's got all that up in there. It's missing that extra punch to your face. <laughs> it's missing that extra, you feel me? If this fly, I'm gonna have to RKO this fly. But yeah, the broccoli rice casserole, it's cool. Let's try this mac and cheese. Now I tell you, if a soul food restaurant can't make good mac and cheese, throw it all out. Now looking at it and putting my fork in it, it looks slightly mushy, but we are gonna see when I, with, this, with this bite test. Oh, it's good. Not overcooked. This is good. Now, it's right on the brink of saltiness for me. Now, I'm gonna say this. This mac and cheese ain't better than Pascal's, baby. This one's pretty good. I wanna dip this in my collard green juice. That's how you're supposed to do it. You sop up some of that, that, that pot liquor. Let me see. Mm-hmm. That's an awesome duo right there, baby. Y'all know I'm a yam guy. If your yams ain't yamming, we're gonna have some problems. Let's see if these things are yamming. They cool. The yams, they're not, they're not sticky enough. Like, I like them, them syrupy, sticky yams. These are like light skin yams. These, <laughs> that's these Drake yams. These things, light skin is I don't know what. Like, I need that sauce to be kind of dark orange. Just that light skin right there, boy. None of this is worth $18.
Pascals were better. I don't know. They got that Michelin star for their chicken or for their fish or whatever. I don't know what they got the Michelin star for. The greens, all right, cool. The rest of it, mm, that's up for debate. I'm not highly impressed. If you ask me for a soul food spot to go to, I'm not recommending Busy Bee as the first. I put Pascals over Busy Bee. Now, in the comments, people have said go to K&K. &K. I've been there. I wasn't that impressed. They said go to the beautiful. I've been there. Eh, it was cool. Best thing they got is a banana pudding. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know if you've been to Busy Bee. Let me know what you think of Busy Bee. Let me know what y'all think. And while you're doing that, hit that subscribe button and let me know what y'all think. And like and share this video. I would greatly appreciate that, y'all. Hey, on that note, y'all, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm out this thing. Until next time, peace. And I'll see y'all soon.